setups so we're going to use safari and navigate to mfcbox.com so we'll type that into our url bar here and wait for the page to load i'm going to start with an account creation so we'll navigate to the register page and go ahead and just fill out this information as it's requested a pretty simple form here make sure you fill out the capture code and create and sign into your account once you're signed in, you're going to navigate to the iBus X portion of your account and you need to activate your actual device. So navigating over to the actual device, flipping it over to the bottom, you'll see your actual serial code, serial number to register the device. You'll take that number and you'll actually input it into the text box and register the device as well. You need to register your software, your one year license for the access to the firmware files. You'll get that from your email. After you activate the software and the hardware, you'll go ahead and grab the utility and software management tool, which is required to use Mac OS 10 through 13. Make sure you're using that operating system on your Mac. Go ahead and grab that software and the drivers. So navigating over to the drivers portion, make sure you grab the Apple Watch drivers for Mac OS. This will support series six, seven, eight, nine, ultra one and two. So we'll go ahead and grab that download file <clears throat> and we'll wait for both of these to finish up. And then you also want to go ahead and grab WinRAR as well. Um, so you'll notice that the driver is in a RAR file. So you'll need WinRAR to go ahead and extract that installation. So we'll go ahead and start the installation of our software. We'll start with the MFC uh, utility tool. You'll see it can't be open because of some security issues. So I'll show you how to fix that. You'll just navigate over to the main system preferences using your Apple and go into system preferences and just go ahead and navigate over to security and privacy and open that up. You'll see an option at the bottom and notification where that package was blocked. You'll go ahead and click open anyway. We'll ask for some additional authorization <clears throat> and then you can continue with the installation of that package. So follow through with the authorization to install the software. And this will bypass that restriction and allow you to install. Once that's completed, you can move the file to the trash. And we'll go ahead and grab WinRAR so we can extract that driver file. You can see that you can't open it. So we'll go into the App Store, Let's type in WinRAR, pretty basic software. This will just be used to extract the file that's packed up and compressed. So once we have that software, then we'll be able to open and view the files within. It'll take just a second. Now that that's complete, we'll just navigate to our download for that driver. And we will extract that driver file. Once we get that file extracted, we'll run that package and this will go ahead and install the driver files, which is very important so that the device and the software can recognize the Apple Watch. Pretty excited about a unique feature with this Apple Watch restoration tool is that it's wireless and doesn't require any pinouts or any additional hardware to connect the Apple Watch to the computer. It just utilizes the wireless technology communication chip um, so therefore the restoration can be done completely. So our driver files are installed. We'll go ahead and move that to the trash 
and we'll navigate over to our actual hardware. We'll go ahead and plug it in now that we have everything installed. And just a quick overview, we went ahead and created our account. We signed in, we activated our iBus box, we activated our one year license for the Apple Watch firmware files and access to those. And we went ahead and installed the MFC utility suite software and the driver files. So now that we have the device plugged in, we'll go ahead and open up our MFC tool and we'll have to sign in once more here. So you'll type in the same information you used to sign in on the website and that we just created in here to the software. And you'll notice that the sign in is successful. After you click login, that whole menu will dissipate and kind of slide away. And that will let you know without any pop-up error messages that your sign in is successful. So once it's signed in, and we'll go ahead and set the Apple Watch onto the tool. And you can see once we click refresh that it's immediately recognized once it's connected it'll give you a little bit of identifying information which that you can then use to grab the firmware that's necessary so we just did a quick read of information just to show you that the tool is communicating properly with the watch and we can see that we need a series 7 45 millimeter firmware to go ahead and restore this watch so going down to the restore, it'll ask you to select the firmware file. So you select that and we don't quite have it yet. So we'll go back to the same MFC box website to the download section and iWatch firmware. Because we're signed into our account, we've activated our license. We can just go directly to series seven and to the 45 millimeter that we need. Go ahead and download that firmware file for series seven. Go ahead and speed up this process here. Once the firmware is completed, then we can navigate back to our MFC software and select that and begin that restoration job. Again, we'll speed this process up. <coughs> And after a few moments, the software will complete and we'll show you that restore is finished and that everything is done. The iWatch is rebooting. That's why it's just giving you some error messages that it can't communicate. Once it's rebooted, we will go back through and do a read info job just to show you that the restore was completed and fully successful. So again, we we're very excited to bring this completed package to you guys uh, in a very uh, successful form. So that way you can begin these restorations on these newer iWatches, utilizing some very new wireless technology and having the one year license included with the purchase of the device is very helpful and aids to the ease of success for utilizing these tools. Again, thanks for choosing Injure Gadgets. Have a great day.